Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Harihatnath. In this video, let's talk about how to create a Linux VM and connect with it with using SSH from a Windows machine. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit on the subscribe button and like this video. Now, let's get started by creating a virtual machine for Linux. So you have to log into the Azure portal and then click on create a resource. So under the virtual machine, click on create. So you'll have to fill some details. The subscription is already pre-filled. That is okay for me. And I'll create a new resource group for the RG Linux IoT Frontier. So resource group. And then I'll use VM. So VM, I'll use Ubuntu. IoT Frontier. Next, we have to choose the correct image. I'll leave everything rest as it is. I'll use a image. So in the image, we have Ubuntu 22 as well as 20. I'll use Ubuntu 22. So I have this two V CPUs. I'll select this E2S. Then uh, authentication type, I have to select the SSH public key. That is more suggested. And here the username, Azure user, and uh, generate new key pair. And the key pair name I can use Linux VM credentials. And uh, the final important thing we have is the select inbound ports. So we are uh, selecting SSH and uh, click on next then i'm using as it is everything and i'll click on next next now we will click on review and create so it will do some validations and say as the amount that is there and now we have to click on create So first we have to download the private key for the SSH and it will simultaneously create the resource. So the PEM file has been downloaded and the deployment also got started. Now you can see the deployment is complete. So here we can click on go to resource. So it will take you to the resource of this Linux. So you can see the public IP and everything so to connect to that you have to click on connect under ssh we'll be having this fourth step so what you have to do is you have to open your Lin uh, windows command prompt and paste this so after pasting this you just have to change the path of the file that you have downloaded So I'll just change the name. So my name would be Linux VM credentials. So this is the private key and I'll click on enter. So it will ask to continue, click yes. Now you can see we have logged in into the Ubuntu machine. So you can check the U name minus A for where you can check the version of Ubuntu and then the architecture, everything is mentioned here. And one more important thing that you need to remember after creating is to stop the virtual machine. Once your work is done, you have to stop it. Otherwise, there would be a lot of costs incurred into your account. So click on stop and click on yes. So it will stop the virtual machine and immediately the start button will get enabled. I hope this video has helped you understand how to create a Linux VM and connect to it with SSH. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.